February the 8th, 2024. I guess this is video two of our February woodcutting excursion. Ah, came in this morning, Aaron. Broke another couple of roads. Ah, it's just the right temperature for cutting a bit of wood. It's like minus two or something. Calm for sunny today, but it's uh, still overcast. So we'll go for a walk around the loop. There's another trail there if you can see. I'm hesitant in putting it in there because once you break the road, Fellers falls in love with it, so just up over that hill there, and it comes right on the hill, makes a big turn to the right. It comes right on down to where we ended off. Straight down through there. So he only needs so many roads is what you're going to use, so that's just as much fun as cutting wood, putting in a nice road, and you get all straight in the way, and then you gotta cut it, and I don't know. It's just nice getting in the marks it and having a little ball up place or a lean to, a wigwam or something. Go in and have your lunches, right? I made a little turnaround spot down there in the clearing. Continued on in here. Just right, there's just enough snow. We're getting in around. You hardly even need snowshoes. So I go in, uh, I'll break the trail at Skidoo, and Tom, you get two or three trees cut. You got it all, uh, all beat down, you know? Like that type of thing. I shoveled that in two days ago now. That's pretty solid. It's solid enough that the trees, the snow won't stick to the trees and it's not, it's not, the temperature is not warm enough for it to uh, stick on, right? So this is video two. I think tomorrow or the next day we're going to shift camp and come in and probably put another little loop in around this. Because this stuff, this black spruce, as you know, you can pretty much burn it right off the stump. But when you got every second or third one is hung up and dry, man, that makes it a whole lot better. You don't get so much crease out in your stove, stove pipes. And a couple green ones to join nighttime, right? That's not overly big stuff, but a six, seven inch, some of that stuff is smaller. It was ideal for this little stove. I haven't got a real big stove. Now the stove down the cabin is a Valley Comfort. That's the one that uh, we cut the big birch for that one, right? It splits it once. But one of them classic twos like we got down the house. It's just like a, a modified 12 hour burner. So six, eight inch wood is the max. We got a pile of uh, six, seven logs there. But there's four or five more in a mox it, so. I'm gonna keep that there for now. But out here is where the dandies are, dandy logs are. I caught one big one today just to see if there was any butt rot. I think I had to take one junk off the bottom. Just because it was a little bit a little bit of lighter color into it, like you know. So I just put a trail. Just moving in every four or five feet at a time, right? And that's beautiful sticks there by. Man, oh man, now some of them is, uh, some of them is a bit limmy, as you can see the wall limbs we got there. But that's a good windbreaker, right? Bud is just having a little snack. Fattening up. Yeah, so we, I don't uh, have too much wood in there at a time because it's only for a warm, one or two warm days on that bog, and there's nothing froze, right? So, one year I ended up leaving my logs in here. I couldn't get them out. I never heard them, but it's just a pain in the you know what. Well, you gotta come in and get them next year and dig them out. 
So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve nice logs there. And I guess there's eight over there. So that's our twenty. Along with the down the house now I got some uh, some white spruce mixed with fir. And they're 12, 14 inch round for two by six. So that'll do the patio and there may be an upcoming shed project so it's a bit of hard work by yourself but so we're gonna take that load down to the camp now and throw it off and then scoot on home we got some mixed dry wood there dry and green for the house and it's soon time to come in and Burn a few boughs and have a day just relaxing and uh, put on some moose meat and a nice breakfast. So we got all that geared away. We even got some, uh, now that looks a little bit precarious there. I should have hide it better, but I had some peanuts down there for me, buddy. This is a little stash, so if it gets, hey, arm load of kindling and some birch rind. So, hope nobody falls in love with it, but it's there for whoever wants it, but it's nice for that. Gets a bit of snow now, I got a bit of dry uh, kindling there to get it started. Because we don't burn no fuel in the woods. Everything is damp now, freezing rain. So yeah, we're going to head on out to the camp now. Unload our bit of wood and head her on down to the house again. And probably come back in again tomorrow. There's a place here now I'm looking at. See, there's a lot of them blowdowns and stuff, which some are good, but some of them are rotten. But if I can make a loop in around this uh, with the snowshoes, I'm gonna get that big top there tomorrow. And probably come in right around the back. That way then you got another loop, right? Then you can follow your trees out where your previous trail was. And, you know, it's a little bit more work. But you, you, at least you're not tangled up in the woods. Stepping off. Some people cut their, leaves their boughs and their tops. Embarrass yourself in, you know, they can't even move. So for a little bit more work, you can make it a lot more enjoyable. But anyways guys, thanks for watching part two. We're probably gonna do three or four parts of this. And we got a new mini series coming out now starting the spring. I guess when we get our bolt and stuff out, maybe before. When we head back up to Charlie's place. Uh probably gonna be called something like special spaces, you know? All these old abandoned uh, campsites and uh, You know, these so sacred sites and these places where the old cabins and the old woodcutters was with the old saws and there's a place that I know for you can go in and uh, the mugs and the plates and everything are still there but the, the building is down but they just left everything there. Horseshoes and horse, uh, the braces and that they used to put on, the pieces of slids and pop hooks and man it's something interesting. It's almost like the dam sites we got on our previous videos. And we're going to be doing some sights around the lake. There's some old caves on the side of the lake. That you can get into. And there's a nice couple of places there where you can go and nobody knows about. There's a nice falls where you can get down and swimming in a hole there. And crystal clear water. And things of that nature we'll say. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably hopefully start on that soon enough when the snow goes. So that'll be interesting. See what kind of relics we can find and see what kind of history is up there. And you never know, you might bring home something more valuable than gold. Hey bud, bud's, out, bud's enjoying this today. He got almonds, no peanut butter biscuits today. Peanuts, almonds, and uh, bread crust. Hey bud.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Over and out.